So hello and welcome back to another video. Yeah, this is upside down. And today we have a red pocket. I want to say so. Hopefully I got this right. Lacey. Now I couldn't say if he said red pocket, or I could have said uh, I shit my pants. That's the way Cantonese is, and I'm tone deaf. So this one is quite nice. So we got the. Yeah, Eiffel Tower, looks like we got the Taj Mahal, that could be the Brandenburg Gate, or the Arc de Triomphe, and there's some other buildings, I recognise them, but I can't remember where they are, I think one's in Malaysia, anyway, so, uh, this is what you get in Chinese New Year, and you put money in it, and you give it away, so, in general, it's supposed to put brand new banknotes in it, uh, but this one does have a lot of old ones. And the first one that we have is a fifty dollar. You can put any denomination you got. And this one is the Charter Bank, and I don't have it. Two thousand eighteen, so uh, it's a harder bank to get. Although the Bank of China I find is a lot harder to get than the Standard and Chartered. And most of the probably at least half the banknotes are HSBC. So this one's quite nice, has the actual bank building, has a beautiful butterfly. So I like this, the actual metallic uh, window, oh not window, it's like a, a reflective thing. Uh, and as you can see it's like a rainbow effect, so that's quite nice. It's also the uh, segmented security thread, and the watermark on these banknotes are always 50, and the bahinia flower. And it's uh should be UV. So they have UV on these banknotes too. And on the back we have a beautiful butterfly. Not as good as the HSBC one, but a beautiful banknote. Okay, so what you're looking for is any errors and serial numbers. Yeah, this one has lots of nines and zeros. Uh, but it's really not a good serial number. Okay, here we have some old ones, 2016. So these are well circulated, I wouldn't really keep these. Just checking for serial numbers and errors again. And see this one has a security thread there. And it has a segmented one. So more of a security feature. Okay, 2014. Oh, if only that 2 was an 8. Or maybe a 3. So not really a banger, but you know. Pity. Okay, another one, 2016. So 2016 is the last one of the 2010 series. Still very common. In the 2003, don't really see much. So you can see the actual uh, UV. It's printed on the bank note. When you just look at it like that, you can't see it. But when you tilt the light, sometimes it does reflect. So you can actually see them on bank notes. Okay, 2016, yeah, another one. Okay, then we get $100, Bank of China. And these ones are probably not as common as HSBC. Got the bank building, security thread. Okay, UV is down here. You can sort of see it there. Just around that area. Part of the building and Lion Rock. Serial numbers in that one, nothing to worry about. Another Bank of China, 14. 14, JA. So, as I said before, in any one time period, you're probably going to get six uh, di different banknotes of one denomination. So, you get the old and the new. Bank of China, HSBC and Chartered Bank. So that's two each. And you've got three banks, so that's six. And sometimes you can get older banknotes, so uh, could get up to nine or even twelve. Although, they issue banknotes every ten years, so generally you don't get banknotes that are 30 to 40 years old. Uh, I said general, but once in a while they do pop up. Okay, 2016 HSBC. 
Uh, establishment Day. Another Bank of China well circulated, 2012. So this one you definitely wouldn't keep to spend. 2014. And here's the current series, so 2022. So quite obviously, uh, they've issued all their 2018 banknotes, and this one's GA, so they've got quite a lot of 2018 out there, and they're issuing the 2022. But the tourists, well, at least the tourists in the West are not coming back. Uh, there's some Chinese tourists here, uh, but, you know, generally I don't see many uh, what they call Guai Lu, Guai Po, Guai Moi, Guai Dai. Uh, just white ghost people, people with white skin. So, I don't know if anyone, if you hear anyone say Guai Lu and they're looking at you, yeah, they're, you know, they're talking about you. Okay, so look at the, this one's an instrument, quite interesting. And this is commented to security thread. And the Chinese opera, oh, this, is, this is horrible music to me. A lot of the old people still like it. Uh, but me, no. Okay. 100. Yeah, I know I talk a lot. You should see me in person. Sometimes I can just chat, 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 chat. No, just joking. The last banknote. So this is the highest denomination I've got it in the red pocket. Serial numbers, nothing to worry about. 2014. Yeah, these are still common. I make up at least um, probably majority of 500s I actually come across so obviously they're not pulling these from circulation I think they only pulled the $1,000 of this series and so the $1,000 are all the new series because as I keep saying uh, the 1000 is the most counterfeited banknote uh, so a lot of people a lot of people actually don't accept the $1,000 note and there we have Chinese Lunar New Year. So it's actually quite nice. And that's basically it. So that is the red pocket. How much did we get? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. I'm not inside values. Each of these is roughly equivalent to ten dollars. This one's equivalent to $20, and the 500's equivalent to $100, so 1800 so that's about $360 I got from Red Pocket, and generally you also give the money out, so uh, only the young people make money during this time period, the older people generally lose money. Anyway, thank you very much, have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time, thank you and goodbye.